My name is Tokas Muji. I am here today at Charis Missionary Church in Klokwing for one on one session with Apostle Maganisa. I saw Daddy today and then he spoke a word of prophecy to me. He said, I am here because I want God to speak on my spiritual life, God to speak on my calling, which I want to confirm true. I came here because I had wanted God to say, who am I? I had wanted to know who am I spiritually. Um, secondly, he said to me, he wants to speak about my marriage. And then he said that there will be peace from today in my marriage. Affection will be back in the name of Jesus. And I want to, see, to say to those who are watching at me that please, when things are tough, know that God is the answer. And don't run anywhere, just run to God. Open up your heart for God and he will say whatever you want to hear. In Jesus' name, amen. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Taini Malale. I'm in Botswana. I was in Charis in 2017, and by then, the man of God located me and said that uh, I had been attacked. The enemy had given me HIV, and then I was breastfeeding the baby, and the baby was nine months then, and the man of God prayed for the baby through a passport because I had brought a passport. He prayed for the baby through the passport, and the baby got healed, and now he's four years old. And the man of God prayed for my husband who was not born again, and now he's born again, and we go to church together. So, what do you want to do? You want to destroy what? Huh? I can hear you. This one. Why do you want to destroy it? Huh? You're hated. Yes. So why are you destroying your marriage? I don't like this marriage. You don't love the marriage. That's supposed to be rich. Yes. They're supposed to be rich. They're supposed to be to, to be ministry. Hmm? She's supposed to be minister. They're supposed to be minister. Yes. And this uh, thing you put in her back, what is it? Yes, Nick. Yes. Okay, stand up. Show me. 
Show me. Show me. Show me how you move. Ten. 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 Move. Ten. Move. Move. You snake. Huh? You're not going anywhere. What is your weight like? Huh? You're what? I'm here again today at Charis One on One in Tlokweng. The man of God spoke to me about my marriage, that my marriage was under attack. He also spoke to me about my, my life and he prayed for me and he said there will be peace in my marriage. He prayed for my husband. He was, he was saying that my husband is under attack. He prayed for my husband and I also get delivered from a snake, the snake that was talking about me being in ministry and the snake that was talking about destroying me, I came with pains. I, I was having pains in, in, in the womb, which the man of God also picked because he told me that I sometimes experience prickings. It, immediately after getting prayed for, after deliverance, I got healed. Um, I don't have any pains. I don't feel those prickings anymore. I'm free. I feel lighter. And I thank God for everything that he has done in my life. And I thank God for the deliverance and the healing. In Jesus' mighty name. Viewers, I want to encourage you that God is the answer. That whatever that you are going through, always seek God. Come to, to Charis or find a living church. And, and God is the one who will take away all your problems. Because there is nothing that is impossible. There is no sickness that God cannot heal. I received my healing here in 2016. And I'm still and I'm HIV free. And my, my 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 daughter, I have a daughter now who is nine months old. And I want to encourage you that know that there is nothing, there is nothing that is impossible. God is the answer to every problem that we are having on this earth. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Nanshan Shangambule. I'm originally from Swaziland, but I work and live here in Botswana. Um, what brought me here is. Uh, you know, I have spiritual attacks. My marriage is attacked. So I wanted to know the will of God. I wanted the man of God to pray for me uh, and my children. So he has prayed for me and I feel blessed and I believe God is going to intervene in my situation.
Oh, I would encourage the viewers to really come and see the men of God for prayers and to visit the church. I got encouraged by watching uh, on YouTube and I got inspired to come and meet with them for prayer. So I would encourage anyone out there who is going through situations to come for prayers.